Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Gonna Change. I'm sure you already know what I'm gonna talk about. We're talking about Cardi B and the beautiful. Broke boys don't deserve no pussy. I know that's right. Uh, so I'm sure you guys have seen this video. It was a really nice video back in the day. This is Cardi B and Up. You can see she is just a, I mean, just a classy example of what we should all inspire to be, you know? Um, this song is, is what made, um, me want to change my entire life okay that's enough of that so y'all know this song and i will say some of the lyrics for you just to make sure we we understand uh what's going on here okay let's make sure we understand what's going on i know it's cardi b is dancing around in this video having a good old time okay i'm obviously not playing the song even though i can't beat copyright by the way <clears throat> if y'all don't remember, I put up my Doja Cat video, which has the entire song in there. <clears throat> you, it, I want. That's a, I'll explain that later. But let me let me get, go ahead and tell y'all guys the lyrics while I got you here about that broke boys don't deserve no pussy and why I kind of believe that she's actually right about this. Okay. All right, so let's get these lyrics up. Cardi B lyrics up. Okay, so once upon a time, man, I heard that I was ugly. Came from a bitch whose nigga wanna fuck on me. Inspiring lyrics, beautiful lyrics. I said my face, I said my face, bomb ass tight, rack stuck to shack tight. Julie on me flashlight. I've been lit since last night. Hit him with that good, good, make a nigga act right. That's because broke boys don't deserve no pussy. I know that. Okay, so why do I think this is actually more correct than it's not? So y'all know how I feel. Let's, we're, we're gonna go two. We're gonna go two different ways here. We're gonna go two different ways here. Oh, sorry, my camera. Froze. We're gonna go two different ways here. So first way is going to be: <clears throat> Should you get in a relationship with the woman before you got money? I would tell you not. You see, my video for some reason is behind. Okay, should you get with the woman? And you have no money or should you go for this kitty cat before you have all this? I'm going to tell you this, man. I'm going to say no. I know some people get butt hurt when they hear about, you know, if you're broke, you should never, ever go for a girl like that. But I have to agree. OK, I have to agree that you should probably stay away from trying to get with the woman, trying to do anything with her while you're broke. OK, because it really makes no sense at all for you to go for a woman while you're broke. OK, that's from the logical standpoint for the people who want to argue that it's important to <clears throat> get with the woman before marriage. Now, let me talk about the other side here. Broke boys don't deserve none of that. If you're waiting till marriage to be able to have sex and have to have intercourse, you obviously need to wait until you're married that's my thing but do you think you can get married while you're broke do you think you should be married when you're broke this is a simple question now broke is relative when i think about broke i think you can't even afford to take care of yourself that's what i think that's what i mean by broke not you, you're making enough money to pay the bills and everything is going fine. It's, if you're broke, that means you could not, nobody else could depend on the, depend on you if they had to. Even if you're getting the bulk of it. I'm not saying necessarily 50-50. I'm saying, could you handle 70% of the house load? Could you handle 70%? If one of y'all lost a job, would you be able to at least still pay the bills? If not, that's a problem, Okay. It should be enough where your income can at least sustain you if, if for a little bit. It doesn't have to be forever, but just for a little bit. But then there's another level. OK, if you're broke, that means you're struggling just to survive on your very own. There's just absolutely no way you could bring somebody in, even if they're bringing in an extra income. Life happens. And that's why you see some couples end up having to really struggle if somebody loses their job. Right. Because if think about this, if you own your own home and you own everything you got, not necessarily your own home, but let's say you own an apartment. I get housing and finances today. Let's say you own an apartment, one bedroom, you're living good. Everything's all right. You can make it happen on your, by yourself. You could, you could have food. You could have, 
you can have the lights on, you got AC, you got a little bit of internet if you need it. You are surviving all by yourself in a one bedroom apartment. Could you bring a woman in and no matter what she does, you can survive in that apartment whether she works or not? In most cases, yes, because you already have to survive on your own. When I think about broke, it's like if you slip for one day and don't go to work, bam, you can't even afford rent. You should not be getting into a marriage and you definitely should not be pursuing a woman or any of this if you can't do that already. I understand being lonely. I understand the need for companionship. But at the exact same time, if you are broke, then there is no way on earth you should be going after a woman. There's no way on earth you should even be have a girlfriend. I'm being honest with you. I don't understand this because here's what we hear a lot of is that when it comes to men and women is that you need to get a woman who's willing to build with you. I completely agree with that. There's nothing wrong with getting a woman who wants to build with you. And there's nothing wrong with a woman who wants a man who already has it all. I'm fine with both of those scenarios. It is completely different when you say you want to be with the woman, but you ain't building anything. You're literally just sitting there. There's nothing to build on, right? The only thing you can afford is the foundation. There's nothing being built, no bricks, nothing, no property is on. You literally just have an imagination of the house being built. You know what I'm saying? Why get in a relationship when you're broke? Why do that? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and make the argument that I think people are making when they hear this sound. When they think about broke boys don't deserve what they what men are. Some men are hearing is their ego getting in the way. And I normally don't do this to the young men. You know, I love my men. But at the same time, I do believe that men the ego is getting away because what they think is being said here is that broke men don't deserve anything. Meaning that if you're not wealthy, you shouldn't be able to get with a girl. And I take it differently than that. Okay. Maybe Cardi B means it in a different way. I'm sure. Cause she gets with rich men. Okay, fine. But the way I take it is, yeah, I have to agree with that. But I think men are thinking, Oh, because I don't make a million dollars. I shouldn't get a girl. No, hear me out. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying if you don't make millions of dollars, because that's a very few people who would ever see that kind of money don't deserve a woman. If you're not making six figures, you don't deserve a woman. If you're a man who's making average money, but you're living OK, you're making a good 60K a year and you're doing you're doing fine. Of course, you I think you should deserve to be able to get married. OK, um, the, the question of do you deserve sex? That's a completely different question. I don't think anybody deserves it, no matter how much money they're making. So that's just a foolish question for me to ask. But do I think you should be getting with the woman if you can't survive a one bedroom apartment by yourself? No matter Depending on where you live, doesn't matter. I don't care if you live in New York or if you live in Dallas, Texas, or if you live up in Idaho. My question is, can you afford a bedroom, a one bedroom apartment by yourself? If you can't, then my, you should not be getting a woman. If you got to stay with your parents, I'm cool with that. Stay with mom and dad until you can get a job that can help make you do that. That's fine. But I don't understand why we feel like we have to get a girlfriend, get married and have it all to have some kind of status. Man, we can wait till we're 25, 26, 27, maybe even to our upper 30s. I didn't get married until I was 29. I'm just saying, but fortunately for me, I could afford uh, having a house and all this stuff messed up. when I, If I had got a girl when I was 22 and I had a girlfriend when I was 22, I was so broke. I was on the streets, baby. OK, I had a girlfriend and I was it was I was so broke. I tried to take care of this girl in me, meaning that I was trying to provide this certain kind of lifestyle. And it only cost me because I'm an idiot. I was already struggling to pay the bills and bringing a girl in does add an expense, man. It does add an expense if you add a girl into your life. OK, no matter how you want to slice that pie, it's an expense, especially if she doesn't work or if she gets pregnant and you mess up or something like that. If income stops for her and you can't survive without her income, then you probably shouldn't get with her in the first place. I know people hate hearing me say that. That's fine. Now, uh, an, a question for another day is what if you're married and you have a baby? OK, that's a question for another day. We're talking about before we even get to the baby, baby. We're talking about before we even get to the baby. OK. If you have a baby before marriage, it's going to be a struggle. Okay, that's just how it is. going to be a struggle. If you're broke and you decide to go get with a girl and have a baby that you know you can't afford, hey, don't mess up that baby's life. Have the baby. Do what you got to do. It's going to be tough for everybody, okay? And obviously, different decisions can be made, but that's a story for a different day. But at the fact that, and you know what? You know what? I do want to touch on that for one second. If you are so broke that if you feel like you, if you had sex with a girl and y'all had a baby together, that you couldn't afford the baby, maybe 
once again, Both boys don't deserve no pussy. I know that's right. Think about it. Yeah, let me know what you think about it. Do you think I'm crazy? You think I'm off a little bit? That's fine. I just truly believe if you're a broke boy, then you probably shouldn't be going after no kitty cat. Focus on you. Get your, get your money up. Get your stuff up. I ain't saying you got to be rich. I ain't rich. I ain't coming from a place of rich. I'm coming from a place that I could afford a house by myself and pay the bills and eat pretty good. In fact, I need to eat a, a little less. Okay? So that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Just think about that before you bring a woman into a place where you might get evicted if she quits working. All right, peace.